Let's meet the starting lineup for the visiting Phoenix Suns. At small forward, Josh Okogi. At center, DeAndre Ingram. At shooting guard, Bradley Beal. At the other guard position, Devin Booker. At the other forward position, Kevin Durant. The head coach for the visiting team, Frank Vogel. Make this go. Start at power four. Standing six foot eight. Number eight. Marcus Morris Sr. At center, seven foot, number 40, Ibita Silva. The point at six foot, great. Number zero, Russell. Westbrook. That guy, six eight, number thirteen, Paul Gill. At forward, six seven, number two, go up. Welcome, everybody, to the day we've all been looking forward to. The start of a new NBA season on 2K Sports. A broadcast team tonight. On one side, Greg Anthony. On the other side, Steve Smith. And on the sideline, David Aldrich. I'm Kevin Harlan. And this is what the schedule looks like coming up for the Phoenix Suns. On Tuesday, they'll be matching up with Chris Paul and the Golden State Warriors. And then on Thursday... They'll go up against LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers. And then the opening lineup for the end. The big three for the Suns, all on the floor. Booker and Peel as the guards, and Katie at the four. Then it's DeAndre Ayton, and it's a Kogi in at the three. And for the Clippers, the post Baron Morris along with Zubas. At the guard spots, we'll see Westbrook and George, and it's Leonard in at the small forward. Well, how long does all of your off-season rest usually last you at the start of the regular season? Like, like, when do you start to really feel the games again? You know, the fatigue comes at you fast, Kevin. So that rested feeling only lasts about a couple of weeks. Nothing wears you out like playing NBA ball. And it's Aiton with the rebound. And so it's Peel. He'll bring it up for Phoenix. George with the defensive effort. What a defensive play. Gets the stop and does it without fouling. In the corner, it's Westbrook. The shot's good on the assist by George. Oh, nice work. I need the open man by George. Plays like this and prove he's a team player. Let's do a Kogi. Back to Booker. And the chunk by Booker. <laughs> Never a bad idea to run the old pick play. Uh-uh, you're right. And if it produces a slam like that, we'll probably see more of them. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. And it's George missing. First quarter, just over a minute played. For three, a Kobe cans it from downtown. Maybe I mean, you gotta respect Booker. I mean, he's added to his game every year and becoming a more willing passer. Oh, here's Leonard. And it's KD with the rebound. For Phoenix, they've gone two or three here to start out the game. 
Well, Greg, the Suns going all in with the new big three, Beal, Booker, and Durant. <laughs> That's a lot of firepower. And they didn't hesitate to bring Beal into the mix. The shooting that they all provide is second to none. On paper, they are as talented as anyone. Now Westbrook after Devin Booker and missing on that last three-pointer. No good from Zubac. Now here's Booker to the inside. And he throws it down. Great timing by Booker, Booker. Setting up his teammate for success. Westbrook with it. Off the run. And there's George. Oh, that's good. Yeah. And the assist by Westbrook. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity. From deep. Booker the pass to Durant. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. And it's Phoenix scoring again. You just love how reliable he is night in and night out. This offense is there. Zubats with the screen for George. And another three for the Clippers. I like how Paul George comes off the screen under control. Right up into his shooting motion. Smoothly. Durant with the screen on West. Here's Booker and the dunk by Booker. I tell you what, you better watch out, fellas. He is on fire here today. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for the Clippers. Trailing by two. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Nice move. Oh, good on that one. Good D by Booker. Phoenix is gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Pass to KD. Now the dish to Aiton. Beal against George. Oh, good on the triple. He can hit it from deep, but needs a little more room to operate, and the defense wouldn't give it to him. For three, Westbrook. It's hauled in by Kevin Durant. It's been a rough quarter for him. I can't seem to find any kind of rhythm. Deal with a screen on Leonard. For three, Booker trains the three-pointer. Three point Booker's got seven points in the game. And you can see he's got a little bounce in his step. Three out of four to start. That's Rook scanning the floor. Oh, and there's the foul. It's on Josh Okoji. That's his first foul. The Suns making a change here. Bates Diop has checked in. For the Suns. Number 21, Keita Bates Diop. On defense, Phoenix, leading by five. Or three, Westbrook has shots good on the assist by Morris. Westbrook's got his second basket. We know he prefers to shoot off the pull-up, but Westbrook's showing he's capable in the catch-and-shoot situation. Morris against Durant. Six to shoot. The pass to Book. Pulls up from the corner. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Well, we've seen siblings in the NBA before, but Marcus Morris and his brothers have a unique score. Yes, they do. Marcus was picked one pick after his brother Marquis in the 2011 draft. After playing college together, back-to-back -to -back NBA picks. Wow. The IQ for the game is sets KD apart. Outside Westwood. It's George on the wing. For Booker. That's good from 17 feet away. He's got eight. The Suns have gone 7 of 11 for the field to begin the game. It's Durant on the wing. Top of the key, Booker. Over George. Booker, no good. And they have a narrow edge here in rebounding early on, and you wonder what kind of a role that's going to play moving forward. I wouldn't want Zubas flying at me to finish the roof. No, sir. Phoenix is gone two of four from beyond the arc to start the game. Outside, KD passes it to Booker from downtown. 
It's rebounded by London. LA's gone four or seven from three point range so far in the first. From 17 feet out, rebounded by DeAndre. Aiton's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Leonard's got four rebounds in this game. One nineteen left in the first quarter of the game. Yep, that then goes. And the Clippers lead by two. Like a gazelle cruising down the court for wise, difficult to stay with the transition. To the paint. And then he took it by Katie. And how about that? What a do. sensational finish. You, you got to be able to get some hang time to do that one. Outside West pass to Leonard. It's hauled in by the Suns. Aiton's got six rebounds here tonight. Beal deciding where to go with it. Over Westbrook. The shot by Beal, no good. And that's okay. Even though you miss, you had the right guy taking the shot. In the corner, George with it. There's 21 seconds about to play in the first quarter, and he lays it straight in. His shot making has been superb this quarter. He's taken over this game. Booker outside. That one doesn't drop. Paul George, he's been the guy who's been hosting Chapman for Los Angeles. He got the double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. We'll return shortly. And some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Clippers. They came out firing from deep. It's always good for a team's confidence when you can start a game that hot. And I really liked how they moved the ball tonight. Because of this selfless approach, they are piling up the assists. Here's Gordon. So with Leonard on the bench, here's who Teron Lewis going with. Robert Covington out there with Crumley. Then there's Pop. Then it's George, and it's Mann, and it's the Bulls. And Smitty, we know when it comes to the Clippers, they seem to go as Kawhi Leonard goes. No doubt, Kevin. The only year they didn't make the playoffs with him, he was hurt. But when he's helping, they are dangerous. And so it's Beal who brings the ball up for the Suns. Has to Bates Dion. Kicks it to Gordon. To the right side. Bates Diop, the pass to Gordon. Just five on the clock. And he's good on the three ball. It's so many of Gordon's shots come from three-point range because he drains so many of them. When, when you've had his kind of success from beyond the arc, you're always going to have the green light. Now, here's George. Five, Ten points four. for him. And the officials have called the illegal shooter. And not the most common call. It's hard to argue Number two. if it wasn't illegal. It's often a tough call that can go either way, but I agree with you on that one. A Kogi's checked in for Phoenix. Phoenix has gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. Alpeel. And foul oh. on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. 
first person all time. And GA for Bradley B. Finally a chance to contend with these Phoenix Suns. The long for the yeah, for so long, long folks video. wondered how long Shooting Heath two. Lake was in a losing situation in D.C. Now he has an opportunity to play into June. He throw good, Beal, and Greg, we still see players embellishing contact. Is enough being done to discourage those creative flourishes? We're talking about flopping, right? I mean, we're seeing the league experiment assessing a technical free throw. It, it's necessary or guys will keep jerking their heads and falling down and, and who wants to see that. And both free throws good for Beal. Talking about Bradley Beal, Greg, I feel like he doesn't get enough credit for his passing game. You know, Kevin, he's really evolved as a playmaker over the years. Sure, we, we all know how talented a scorer and shooter he is, but Bradley is now superb at facilitating. And here's Covington from the arc, rebound by a Kogi. Okay, that's frustrating. You work hard to get these open looks. You know he liked that one back. And the whole floor is open for Beal. He has the mechanics to make a shot from just about anywhere. Here's George. After the made shot from Bradley Beal, they need this. And with it, the Phoenix lead has got down two on the bucket from George. George has got 13. It's first triple of the second quarter, third of the game. Gordon against George. And it's Gordon missing. Hey, forever. But when there's that much resistance at the rim, better find another option. Here's Man. No good on that one. Great D that time from Beal. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. From deep. The Clippers grab the miss. Having a shaky time from the floor, but his teammates have been picking up the slack. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Oldman. David. Hey, Kevin, thanks very much. You know, Devin Booker has a take on load management. He hey, says, David. I'm not a part of that. I spend a lot of time in the summer making sure my body can take that load on. I want to be out there doing what I have to to help the team. That's how I've always been. And I haven't lost sight of those kids up in the stands that might be seeing me for the first time. Kevin, back to you. I like that perspective, DA, thanks. Phoenix leading by four. Here's the pass to Okogi. Outside Gordon, the train. It's not gonna fall. He's taken four shots, he made two. Here's Mann, he's covered by Beal. George with a screen on Beal. Here's Mann. And contact uh, uh, on the shot, uh, uh, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Beal. Bradley Beal picks one up. Steve, this current First Clippers team. group, they're changing the identity of this franchise. Hey, Kevin, you know this. For a long time, they couldn't Shoot get right. Shot. Winning just one playoff series during their first 27 seasons in L.A. Now the Clippers expect to make postseason runs. First one falls for him. Last season, GA, the Suns trading tons of picks, plus good young players, all for Kevin Durant. And then this summer, trading for Bradley Beal, it's clear they're going all in, constructing a super team to try and bring Phoenix its first NBA title. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles, Zubox is checked in for Plum. Marcus Morris comes in for Robert Covington, and it's Leonard in for Powell. Now here's Booker, seven points in the game. Bowl setting the pick for Durant. Back to Booker. Three-pointer. Kawhi Leonard with the rebound. Leonard's got rebound number five here tonight. Passes it to George. Zubats a screen on Booker. George passes to Zubats from seven. Nice touch on the back. Zubats has got the game tied up here for Los Angeles. Putting in work 
Zubats attacking the heart of that defense. And Beal kicks to Booker. And here is Beal. He has six. Phoenix, no good that time either. Outside Leonard. Pass to man. Let's it go from 11. Jump shot is good. Man. And the Clippers lead by two. What can't Leonard do? Keeping his eyes up, pinpoint strike. That's a nice play. Pass to a Kobe. Down low. Here's Durant. And then Durant with the dunk. And once he gets clear off the screen, there is no stopping him. <laughs> no, not when there's a flush waiting to happen. That's a big time move and a big time finish. Oh, here's Leonard. In the corner, it's Morris. The three-pointer, no good. The Suns have gone for 10 in the second quarter from the field. The tried by Booker. And there's the game. That's good on the it's edge. Good. Booker, eight points for Kevin Durant. Playing at his tempo, his pace. He's been dialed in all night. So timeout call here. The first four Los signatures. Westbrook is subbed in for Terrence Mann. And then for Phoenix, Eubanks comes in for Bowl. And Gordon subbed in for Bradley Beal. Clippers with the ball. Trailing by two. Outside Westbrook. Frames the three and yes, he'll go for one more. It goes on He's Devin Booker. Star. Devin Booker. That's his first personal foul. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. You know, this is not an area where they expect him to contribute. You know, it's an area that shot below 70% last season. What's up? A free throw off from Westbrook. So, Greg, when you think about the Phoenix Suns, what do you think fuels them the most? Kevin, I mean, the fact that they had a 2-0 lead in the 21 NBA Finals and lost. This team is really battling to get back to that stage. And if they do, they want to take care of business this time. And here's Morris of the three. Booker pulls it in. So, Booker will bring it up for Phoenix. In a strong finish with two hands. Well, so the guy is seven times yeah, the lead enjoy. has changed hands here now. Yeah, and that number should easily top double figures before it's over. Now here's Westbrook. Nine points in the game so far. Over to the wing for Booker. And the Clippers miss again. Suns have gone six of 13 so far from the field here in the second quarter. KD passes to Booker. That's good. And a nice this assist from Booker. Durant. Durant's got his third assist on the night. Yeah, and you can see how quick Booker is to react. No hesitation on that jump shot. 
Here's Lennon outside Westbrook. And here's Morris for three. That one misses. Three shots all come up empty. On the wing, Eric Gordon. And uh, 101 left now here in the second with three. Booker, another three for Phoenix. Finding a little one of them here that they have to like where they're at. They're playing well. They're building momentum. This is how they can turn a small lead into a big one. Now, here's Westbrook. When the run, it's hauled in by the Suns. Trying to get his band back for the last three. It helps to not make this personal. And here's KD for three. That's it. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. Now, here's Westbrook. He kicks it to Morris. Outside Leonard. Shoots from 12. Rebound by a Kogi. And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. All you see is a lot of frustration. Someone needs to step up and make a play to turn this thing around. And so it's the Phoenix Sun going into the break with a 10-point lead. Their defense has been very effective in locking down Russell Westbrook. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much here with Frank Vogel. Coach, the point's coming with regularity in that first half. What's been the key? Playing with a high offensive motor. We're screening with physicality. We're starting hard. We're moving the basketball. We're getting good shots for And it's showing on the floor, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. Welcome, everybody. Let's get right to it. It's been nothing short of a tremendous challenge for the Los Angeles Clippers. Well, the obvious problem is the perimeter defense, and it's not all their fault. Sometimes the team just gets hot, but at the same time, at some point, you have to force shooters to put the ball on the floor and beat you some other way. It's a conundrum. All right, now let's check out what the fans are saying on social media. And we have a question from the epic bearded one for the panel. When was the last time you wore spandex, Shaq? Well, epic bearded face, thanks for the question. Believe it or not, I'm wearing spandex right now. What? Like under your suit? Wow. <laughs> you think you know someone. Don't knock it, Ernie. You should forget that suit and just wear spandex. I have them on as well. And that'll do it for halftime. We send you back to Kevin Harlan, who has a second half call. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. You know, guys, Devin Booker has been exceptional here. And the bulk of his damage so far has come from the perimeter. A lot of threes early on. He's been vital to spacing the floor for them. Makes everything else you want to do easier to accomplish. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. Suns leading by 10. On the court for the Suns, the big three for the Suns, all on the four. Booker and Beal as the guards, and KD at the four. Then there's eight, and it's a Kogi in at the small forward. Here's Westbrook. The Suns getting the bucket, looking for George. He gets it there. Shoots it up. No problem on the jumper in court. George has got 15. You can see why this team trusts PG with the ball in his hands. He's capable of taking over on any given night. Now here's Durant. Back to Booker. Action coming off the assist from KD. Booker's got the lead up to 12 now for the Suns. LA has gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. Six of 15. Now here's Leonard. Not a lot of room. 
It's the difficult fadeaway jumper. And he's got his second basket of the game. When Kawhi gets to his spot in the mid-range, he is automatic, one of the best in the game. Duran sets a screen for Booker. It's going to be out of bounds. The Suns will retain possession. A moment here now to see the numbers for Kawhi Leonard. Great showing for him last season. And he'd make you pay every time he went to the line. Top 20 in free throw percentage. And who could defend him last season out there? Defenders tried to body him up, play a little physical. But time and time again, he drilled the three anyway. Now here's Durant. He's got 11. George looking around. In the corner, it's Westbrook. Oh, good on the three. And so it's KD with it. He brings up the ball for the Sun. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The transfer of the Phoenix Suns last season to new ownership ended a tumultuous chapter for the team and for the league. The new leadership aggressively made the trade for Kevin Durant last year and for Bradley Beal this summer. It's a great roster, and the Suns' $4 billion sales price reflects the sense that this Phoenix market is one of the sleeping giants in the NBA. I agree. On the rise, David Bennett. While we have a chance, let's now take a look at the teams that top the league in shooting from beyond the arc. The Clippers third. This is a team full of snipers. They consistently knock down outside shots that forces defenses to play up on them, which allows the rest of the floor to open up. First trail by 12. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. Beal against George. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two you know, against the free throw line. First personal foul. Injuries have hampered First Paul team. George over the last few years. And the but when he's healthy, he's elite. Oh, Greg, he's still a go-to option offensively who can guard the league's top wings. And as he's aged, he's really embraced a leadership role. You throw good, Paul George. Something Paul George has a ton of is talent. The way he moves, the way he reads the floor, he's got a sixth sense for this game. Both good from the line that time. I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. Outside Beal. Booker with the screen for Beal. Another three for Another Phoenix. Beal. And great recognition there in the pick and roll. Beal usually able to make the right play. Outside Westbrook. And Leonard has it in the corner. Takes it from 10. Good on the jump shot. Leonard's got four this quarter. Doing great things at the offensive end. Three for four to start this half. 
Jacoby, he's covered by Lennon. Outside, KD. There's the three. A shot missing. Empty that time from Leonard. Clippers trail by 11. George, that's a two-pointer. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. Back to Durant. Inside, here's Booker. That's good, and a nice assist from Durant. Durant's got five assists in the game. Just on fire tonight. Devin Booker is feeling it, folks. And we've seen this movie before. Now, here's George. He's got 17. Shoots over Beal. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Ayton's got seven rebounds in the game. Booker finds Ayton. For three, Durant. Rebound by the Clippers. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue this. And they George with the jam. Insane move by Paul George, a high flyer who can create in midair. Nice angle on that replay with the AT&T 5G slam cam. Phoenix leading by 11. Outside field. Pass to Aiton. There's a Kobe. Outside, KD. Six on the shot clock. That one doesn't go. It's his fifth miss and ten shots from the floor. Leonard with the ball. Now Beal defending. And it's Westbrook missing. He's had a tough time getting it going. And he's put this team behind the eight ball. Outside, KD. On the wing. Again, the miss by KD. He's kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. His team hasn't picked up the slack, but he's doing everything he can do to win this game for them. And first time out of the game. Greg is a guy that led the offense, a floor general. Do you think we're in the golden era of point guard? Kevin, it's hard to say. I mean, the 80s had Magic and Isaiah. The, the 90s had Stockton and Peyton. The 2000s with Nash and Kidd. But this era is deep. You got Curry, Lillers, Doncic, Morant, and, of course, CP3 is still going. And Phoenix also making a switch. Bates Diops checked in. High post, KD. Booker draws the double. Aiton, and a great Andrew. assist by Booker this as that one goes in. Devin Booker. Booker's got his sixth assist on the night. And it's Westbrook with the ball. Brings it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. 11-point game. Pass to George. From deep three-point land. And it's Bradley Beal with the rebound. And I wouldn't put it past him, guys, to eventually start hitting those, given what he did 
in the first half. From about 19 feet, and a miss there on the triple. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. And it's Leonard with the jam. Oh, not many people can make the dunk look so smooth as Kawhi Leonard. Look around, son. Pass to Aiton. And he banks in the lane. Oh, boy, Aiton's got six in the quarter. Man, just adding insult mm -hmm. to the injury. Mm -hmm. Just walks his inside and extends. Sleeve. A uncontested shot at the rim. Do have to compete at all times. Suns lean by 11. Page Diop, the pass to Durant. It's Beal on the wing. He's got nine, and it's in there. Booker. Booker's got 21. I will say this about his shooting stroke. It's pure when he's got it going. Perfect so far this quarter. Leonard against KD. Off the boy's side, plus a seven foot three wing fan. Hard to stop the wide without foul. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Suns. It's just a passing clinic from them in this game. Solid communication and unselfish play all around. And on top of that, they've really been dialed in from deep, just dropping triple after triple. And the first one drops. You know, when you have a guy like Kawhi Leonard, so much of what you do goes through him. You trust him. You trust his abilities. Here's what the Clippers are going with right now. Plumley is checked in for Zubats. Robert Covington comes in for George. Mann subbed in for Russell Westbrook. And for the Suns, Bull Bull comes in for DeAndre Ayton. And it's Gordon in for Booker. Oh, free throws, good from Kawhi Leonard. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here. Went to second. Gordon deciding where to go with it. Back loose. Leonard with the steal. And pushing it out here is Los Angeles. Yep, it goes in. Whoa. And the second speed is kept down now to just nine in the bucket from Covington. Any chance you get, you want to put yourself in a position to succeed, and that's what he did there. Great job of reading the floor, got to the rim, and made a play. Durant, and it's the Clippers with the rebound. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. As you've seen, they've made numerous attempts to try to get him going. Shows how valuable he is to this offense. Now, here's Durant. He's got 11. Bull is screen on Plumley. From 15 feet away, count that one. Durant. Durant's got 13. Come on, KD in the mid-range. Easy money. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Mann. He's covered by Beal. Plumley with a screen on Beal. Pass to Leonard. Four on the shot clock. Chalk up to it. Twelve points for Kawhi Leonard. Gets the assist. And so it's Devin Booker and the Alex for the Phoenix Suns. It's been an excellent game for him offensively. He's got 21 points and counting. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And he, he may not be known as a pass-first guy playing out of the two-guard spot, but he shows here that he can dole out an assist or two when he needs to. Whatever the offense requires, that has to be your mindset. Always thinking team first. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. 
Clippers trail by nine. Kawhi Leonard is out there with Norman Powell. Then it's Paul George. Then there's Plumlee, and it's Mann in at the point. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. And team for where he left off. First three-pointer of this half, fourth of the game. The Suns shooting it up around 51%. They're getting good looks. And there's the pass to Booker. Booker draws the double. Here's Paul and the double Paul. That's just too easy for Ball. Once he gets the right position, his focus there is on the finish. Passes to George. From past the arc, connects from three-point range. George has got 14 points here in the second half. Had that one in his sights, too. His fifth triple of the game, second this half. And they call an illegal screen. And there it is on a night when he's been so efficient on the basketball. He's first in the other Hey, guys, one emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. And the Suns making a change here. Please check in. Here's man. And it's Devin Booker with the rebound. Booker's got his fourth rebound in this one. No good from Lee. And it's Leonard with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Clippers. Trailing by five. To the middle. Here's George. And Bull pulls it down. Bull's got four rebounds now tonight. Booker with it. There's a good screen on the money from 12 feet away. Booker's got 23 points. Ever since halftime, he's had his eyes on the basket and just crushing it right now. And the Clippers call time here. You know, Greg, on a per-minute basis, Bull Bull is one of the better rebounders and shot blockers in the NBA. Yeah, and it's not all done on the inside. He, he grabs a lot of long rebounds, and he contests shots on the perimeter. This guy is more than capable. Oh, For the Clippers, Adam Covington's checked in for one, and it's Russell Westbrook in for Terrence Mann. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Teron Lou as he talked with the team. They said, let's lock in, keep our focus. We need everyone down the stretch. Now his players looked engaged, so I think the message got across. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. Powell kicks to Westbrook. A three-pointer off the mark. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Here's Booker. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting spot. It's going to be a Mason Plum. Anytime Devin Booker is sent to the line, it's a win for his offense. He's pretty much on a bat again. It's been that way since he entered the league. Shooting two.
Free throw, good book. Andre Ayton's checked in for Phoenix. And he can't hit the second. Clippers trail by eight. Powell down low. Look at out lean. Out of bounds. Oh, Phoenix will take possession. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. And Booker kicks to Lee. Back to Booker. Shoots the three. It's good from long range. Booker's got six in the quarter. In textbook mechanics, make it look like it's going in every time. Booker, unreal. Let's go from 14. We have the goals in, and the Suns lead. Let's get down to nine in the bucket from Russell Westbrook. Pass to lead. And looks yeah, like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. So no this is for the league. It is so to really so crack down on the illegal screen. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. Here's what Phoenix has got going on right now. Kevin Durant comes in for Kata Bench Dion. And Bradley Beal subbed in for Booker. Now, here's Westbrook. Here's George. And he uses the glass on the lane. George has got 16 points here in the second half. Under the hoop, Paul George is so efficient. Lee outside. Back to KD. Well time pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. 15 points for KD. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. George against Lee. Covington a screen on Lee. George, no good. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. Pass to a Kogi. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. He's again. KD's shot is good. And it's an 11-point Phoenix lead. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint that's an area they have completely dominated now here is george here's plumley and the rejection by Aiton. tremendous at anticipating when shots are going up eight is outstanding at protecting the rim the pass to lee three-pointer gets the three-point of the ball mm -hmm. He's got his first three points of the game. And he is cold-blooded, drops the dagger, piles on to what was already a big lead. I mean, defensively, if you have any hope of coming back in this game, you can't afford to give him those looks. Now here's Plumley, five to shoot. And they get it. And it's Durant with the rebound. KD's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. This is it to a Kogi. Eight and a screen on West. Beal gets a wide open look, and it's off from three point range. It's best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. Lovely with a screen on Beal. West runs wide open. He fires. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by the range. Los Angeles calls timeout. And for an undrafted player, Smith, Robert Covington has had an impressive career so far. He has, Kevin. Robert Covington understands what's expected of him, which is to help provide leadership and solid defense.
in group substitution here for the Clippers. Zubat is checked in for Plum. Marcus Morris comes in for Robert Covington. Kawhi Leonard is checked in for Norman Powell. Mann swept in for Russell Westbrook. And a change for the Suns. Booker's checked in. Phoenix on defense. Here's George. And the layup's good off the glass. Hell no. George has got 18 points now here on the second half. Not just selling for something along the perimeter. Excellent job. Suns leading by 12. Booker. Booker the pass to Eaton. Rebound Kawhi Leonard. Leonard's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Man. Booker pulls it in. For Phoenix, they've gotten into a pretty good groove going 6 of 10 here in the final quarter. To the paint. Here's Hayton. It's in. He's a very efficient 5 for 6 in the game. Josh, this is where Aiden does the most damage. Inside, feels like he can score on anyone. George passes to Zubats. Back to George. Now Zubats. He's covered by Aiden. Leonard, the bounce pass. George, double teamed. Back to Leonard, pocket six, pass to man. The three, good on the triple. That's the kind of D that you're not going to find success with, guys. They've got to get a hand in the face. Phoenix has gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Booker dishes to be driving to the basket. Can't cash in on the 10-foot jump. Clippers trail by 11. 109 left to play in the final quarter. Here's George, and the call. The shot sends him to the line. Defense on George, a little too tight there. But to have any chance against him, you have to challenge him. Paul George, two shots. He drops the first one, and that brings them to within 10. And a tough break as his second attempt at the line. No good. No way he is happy with himself right now. He knows he has to knock every shot down at this point in the game. And at this point, just sort of running through the paces, as it appears, it'll be a nice win here for the Suns. Looking at both these teams, they're great rebounders. And on any given night, you might not know who would have the advantage on the board. They, they made the most of those extra rebounds as well, Kevin. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And one of the key components to this victory if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Devin Booker. A big part of their success was his ability to keep the ball moving, finding guys when they would flash open. And here's George for three. Yes! And now they trail by just four. No moment is ever too big for Paul George. Hello, Paul. He remains confident hey, in the clutch. First, and they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now. And again, they're not in the penalty yet. And that replay showed just how forceful that block was. And in a close game, blocks like that are so clutch. And that could be a real difference maker here tonight. And so they Hello. foul Hello. intentionally. Well, why, that's why, why, why. right. No other option but the foul. Third foul. Third foul. Shooting for Phoenix. Josh Okoge. Shooting two. The 
first free throw is good, and that puts them up by five. Second free throw, no good. Wait, 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 wait. Really wanted that one. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're behind by five. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Guys, your thoughts? An uphill climb. They need everything to break their way. They also need to get the best shot you can as quickly as you can, and then immediately five. On offense, here are the Clippers. They're on a 12-3 run. Morris, a screen. Leonard kicks to Morris. Takes the three. Gets the three to four. Trying to ice this one. Kawhi showing his evolution as a closer. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. You have to foul, but I'm sure. Right to foul or somewhat different. At the line for the Suns, Devin Booker. Two shots. It's the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. The pressure is on, but Booker can handle it. He just has to trust himself. Second one is good. We both at the line, and it's a four-point ballgame. Big moment at the line. As poised as you get, this thing is done. <laughs> And Greg, it's not everybody in the league who can make those kinds of plays. You know, this is one of his specialties, keeping plays alive, creating second chance opportunities. Timeout call for Suns. They're up by two. Just two seconds left in the fourth quarter.
They're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. Paul Glore. First personnel foul. Fifteen down. Shooting for Phoenix. Devlin Buckley. At the line for Phoenix. Fifteen. That's the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. So he goes two for two at the one, and it's a four-point ball game. And so it's Phoenix who's straight by with the win. They the relish their role as the bad guy here tonight. You know, Kevin, I sense that as well. I mean, they, they, they did you get off all of that negative energy. This crowd was directing at them. I mean, they turned it around and used it as motivation to close out a significant win. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. KD, how were you able to hold them off at the finish? Uh, this team plays extremely hard. We talked about it before the game. You know it's going to be a game. They're going to play hard on both ends of the floor. And they came out and hit us in the mouth early, but I like how we uh, withstood the storm and kept fighting. Yeah, it was a tough one, but you got the W, man. Thanks. Back to you. Much appreciated, David. And that'll do it for the first game of the NBA season. Now for Craig Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA here on 2K Sports. As we leave you with our new balance player of the game, Devin Booker.